Okay, let's make this zombie disintegration in less than two minutes. Find yourself an animated a zombie character, then add a cylinder, shape it like a bullet, animate the cylinder so that it's shooting through the zombie and then scale it up to encapsulate the entire zombie. Use the cylinder as a boolean object to cut a hole through the zombie. Because we animated the cylinder to scale up, it's going to look like the hole is expanding. If you add a displacement modifier to the cylinder, it will make the hole look more organic. Now let's work on the particle system. We are going to use the cylinder animation to animate other white paint so that we can use that to determine where the particles should be emitted. To animate the white paint, we need to set up some dynamic painting for our mesh. Select the character and go to the physics tab and turn on dynamic paint. Set the type to canvas, make sure the format is vertex and surface type white. Now select the cylinder and give it a dynamic painting property as well. This time set the type to brush. Then under source, set the paint to mesh volume plus proximity. For the mesh, make sure you have a vertex group set for your output. If you don't have one, just click the plus sign icon. You can preview the results by going into weight mode view. Now let's go to object data, then under vertex group, let's look for the vertex group we have just created. It should be called DB weight if you didn't rename it. Select that vertex group, then enter edit mode, select all the vertices, change the weight value from 1 to 0, and then hit assign. This will make sure that the weight paint is animated using our cylinder. Now add a mask modifier to mask out parts of the mesh that we are going to use for the particle emission. Make sure to use the vertex group we have just created since it already has the animation we want. Create a new particle system and under source make sure you have use modifier stack enabled. Uh, this will let the particle system only use the mask part of our mesh, not the entire mesh itself. Now we can bake the particle system and disable the mask modifier since we don't need it anymore so that we can reveal the entire mesh and the rest is just to work on the materials, lighting and everything which I will do in my upcoming uh, course, free course that will be available on my second channel, Blender Money, which is going to be a more detailed version of this tutorial. Yeah, so thank you for watching. See you in the next video.